The tributes to Tim Russert have been coming in from around the world, as you might imagine. Friends, colleagues, competitors. This from President Bush in Europe today. Laura and I are deeply saddened by the sudden passing of Tim Russert. Those of us who knew and worked with Tim, his many friends, the millions of Americans who loyally followed his career on the air, will all miss him. As the longest-serving host of the longest-serving program in the history of television, he was an institution in both news and politics for more than two decades. Tim was a tough and hard-working newsman. He was always well-informed and thorough in his interviews. He was as gregarious off the set as he was prepared on it. Most important, Tim was a proud son and father. Laura and I offer our deepest sympathies to his wife, Maureen, his son, Luke, the entire Russert family. We will keep them in our prayers. Again, that statement from uh, President Bush traveling in Europe tonight, and these uh, statements came in today from the presumptive presidential nominees of both parties. Well, we're very sad, as so many Americans are, and our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and his friends. Tim Russert was the top of his profession. He was always tough. He was always fair. He was the standard bearer for serious journalism. Uh, and he also happened to be a great guy uh, who loved his family, who you know, I think uh, expressed the, the core values uh, of this country as well as anybody uh, has. The two presumptive nominees of their respective parties about Tim Russert tonight, as we've made clear, as everybody knows, Tim was above all a proud son of Buffalo, New York, where city flags have been ordered to fly at half-staff tonight. In his memory, we'll take a short break. We will be right back.